What's up guys, welcome to today's video. So, you know uh, how you guys are always asking me in the comments to do more curly hair videos. Well, guess what? I listen and today I'm gonna take you into the salon and I'm gonna show you a technique on one of my curly hair guests. She's already got naturally red hair. So what we're gonna do is just pop some brightness then bring her back down a little bit using Demi hair color. And this result is awesome and it doesn't take a ton of time to do this guys. So I think that you're gonna really like this. I think it's gonna be very useful for you in the salon. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and make sure, make sure, Make sure you subscribe to the channel because I got videos coming out all of the time. Let's get started. Here we go. So to start off today's video, we're gonna use Joyco Free Play Lightener. This is a clay-based balayage lightener with 30 volume. The sectioning for this technique is super simple, just the basic four quadrants. And then I start by taking a diagonal back parting right in the temple area. And I'm really gonna pop some brightness into that. So I start painting that lightener on. I use kind of a side swipe of the brush and, I, and a V shape of the lightener. So highest on the right hand top side. And then I dip down into the mid shaft and then I go back up on the other side. And then the rest of the sections, you'll see I took a pretty thick, about one inch section. On curly hair, I like to take a little bit thicker sections, get a little bit more of a prominent feel to it. Um, so I take a thicker section and I cut that in half and then I paint um, higher towards the face, lower towards the back of the head. The reason I do that is because I really wanna brighten up her face, um, but I don't wanna necessarily brighten up that whole panel. So. Um, I find if, you, if I painted that whole panel, it wouldn't look very natural. Um, I want to see that natural depth kind of working into um, the head of hair. So just right around the hairline where it would really kind of pop off and the sun would really catch it. That's where I want that brightness. And then I want it to fade out towards the back of the head. So really painting that on. Notice again, uh, I'm taking a thick section, diagonal back, really following that head shape. And then I'm, I'm cutting that in half and I'm painting from brightest uh, and tapering that off to behind the ear. All right, so now we're gonna work on to the opposite side, doing the same thing, continuing up the head, diagonal back partings, painting it brightest towards the face, tapering off towards the back, and just really working that lightener through the ends, taking thicker sections, split that in half, and then do your painting. Okay, so now that we've gotten through um, the right and left side, now we're gonna start working into the back. Now the back is more of a freehand technique, not gonna take sections. Um, most of the time in natural hair, the underneath is staying a little bit deeper. So we really just want it to feel like the sun kissed her curls, just brightened it up a little bit. So I just go through and I find those really defined pieces and I pull them out with my fingertips and I just paint that. Uh, and I'm gonna do that throughout the back of the head, putting that lightener on. Now, if this was just a highlight technique, Technique and I wasn't going to tone it down, then I would be a little more careful in the back. So make sure you understand that. This is a quick technique if you just want to brighten somebody up a little bit, add a little dimension to their curl, and then you're going to overlay it with a deeper tone. That's when I would use this technique. Highlighting, I would be a little more careful, probably take it section by section and go through and add a little bit of separation to each of these pieces. But again, just trying to pop some brightness into those curls, add some definition. So when I put that demi color on. So we finish that up. This is my choice for my overlay. It's 8NC uh, LumaShine. This is a demi-permanent liquid hair color. So you're gonna see those highlights pop through, right? So we're just gonna change a little bit of her natural tone, add some uh, richness in there. She's already got red hair. And then I'm just gonna paint this all over it so you get those highlights to pop through as well. So adding those highlights is such a key thing because now you can see that dimension, the movement, those bright pieces, the deep pieces. That's what this technique is 
is all about. So hope you guys can use this. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.